Hi everyone, you're welcome to Social Pills channel once again. The right place to get just the right dose for your social challenges. I remain your chief host, Gretchen Wonder. The topic for today is grudge against life. Grudge against life means that certain people have not actually forgiven themselves and forgiven the bad experiences that they go through in life. You know, I've defined life as a place where we experience both the good and the bad. But lots of people have not been able to let go some of the bad experiences that they go through in life. And this is what I tag as grudge against life. I don't know what is that challenge that you have passed through and you are still holding it at heart against life. Sometimes we may hold this grudge against people, but in actual sense, we are actually holding this grudge against life. Now, what do I mean? A typical example. When we were in school, let's say secondary or primary school, as junior students, there are some of us that have experienced a scenario where the senior student will come into the class and flog everybody regardless of what they have done or not. So if you are this person, maybe you were not making noise, you, you did not do anything wrong, and you happen to be flogged, and then you choose to hold that grudge against either the senior or you just feel bad about it and then you carry this pain into your own senior school days and then what happened most times is that because of this grudge lots of people also go to junior classes and then do the same thing that they have experienced while they were junior students this is a typical example of holding grudge against life but we never can tell some of the people who suffer these our actions were never party or were never connected to some of these bad experiences that we go through. So do you see injustice playing out there? Because we punish other people for the hurtful things that we go through in the hands of other people. Now also in relationship, this also plays out almost every time. You see the lady out there because she has suffered disappointment in the hands of some guys and then she's carrying those pain and hurtful experience into her new relationship. So the mindset is that since it was guys or men that did this to me, I am going to pay back to another man because you take the experience of one person out of the gender and then generalize every other person in that gender to suffer any one of them that you come across and this way has made certain ladies to lose the good man that they were actually supposed to spend the rest of their life with same thing goes with a guy you feel maybe a lady has eaten your money and then you felt cheated because she disappointed you and then your new relationship, you are now using that experience to deal with this lady there. You are not even checking whether this lady is different or whether she is the right person for you. And in like manner, so many guys have lost the lady that were actually their dream lady for a while. Now, these are just typical examples. Do you know that certain mothers out there punish their male children simply because of the wrong that their husband will do to them. Same thing goes with the men. They punish their female children simply because of the wrong that their wife has done to them. All these things are never supposed to be. There are certain people, you are the only child of your parents, and then because you see the way other people, let's say siblings from the same parents, relate with themselves, you envy the fact that they have siblings 
and then when you come back home, there is nobody to play with. And then you're feeling bad. You are holding that grudge against life that life did not give you a brother or a sister to actually be with. Do you know that there are certain children out there that don't even know their parents, both dad and mom? This is just life for us. So many things are happening to so many people. And then the way we choose to accept it, we go a long way to determine how happy we can go through with life. So sometimes the way to correct some of these hurtful experiences are actually forgiving life for some of these things that happen to us. So I am encouraging us, whatever grudge it is that we have held against life for so long, it is a call for us to forgive life for some of these experiences and move on. We can choose to be happy and we can choose to become better people. We can choose to relate with people just as they are and not because of the way that somebody from their group have acted to us. This is my take. The biggest weapon against this battle of life or the hurtful experience that it throws at us is that we forgive life, forgive ourselves, forgive some of the hurtful experience that we have gone through and then choose to be happy. You see, choosing to be happy is a very, very great weapon that can help us fight against some of the issues or the hurtful experience that life throws at us. Let me say, you are that business person. You have been seated all day, maybe from 6 a.m. down to 1 p.m. and then there's nobody to patronize you. You can choose to wear a long face but you can choose to say okay this is life sometimes you will sell a lot and sometimes you will not sell but do you know that the, the seller that will put up a happy mood will attract buyers to himself more than that other seller that choose to wear a long face in this same experience now for me I would rather go to that seller who is wearing a happy face regardless of selling all throughout his stay in the market or not but if you are putting on that long face i tell you even if i really wanted to patronize you or you have the good the right goods that i really wanted to buy i may turn the other way yes because if the face is not happy it shows you are not even really going to be welcoming so why do I patronize you? And this is why certain people out there, you wonder why people are not patronizing you. You are not open. You are not happy. And happiness is a great magnet that attracts people to itself. Wherever there is happiness, you see people go there. I don't know. I am encouraging us because there are so many hurtful experiences that sometimes it will seem impossible to forgive. But there is nothing that life throws at us that we will not forgive. If you are that child, you feel you are the only person in your family and you are not happy, you can choose to be happy and welcoming and be open. There are certain people that will become more, even very much more attached to you than they will be with their biological siblings. This is just the raw fact. But when you wear long face and begin to bear grudge against life, you are not happy with them. That's how you will continue to be withdrawn and you will never be happy in life. This is my take again. Let's forgive life. Let's accept some of the hurtful experiences that we have gone through as our own bad side of experience that life has thrown at us. Because most of these things, we cannot do anything to change them. They have happened, they have happened. You're that lady, you might be raped. There is nothing you can do to get your virginity back. It is gone, it is gone. Now, it is not even your making. Somebody forcefully imposed himself on you. So, why hold this experience at heart and feel like it is the end of the world? A proper scan of some of these things is a thought by so many people that 
they are the only ones going through this experience. But you are not just the only one that has gone through some of these experiences. So many people out there have experienced these things and somehow you may not even be able to tell because they have choose to accept it and forgiving life for it. You see them push forward with life as though nothing happened. Another one is the fact that so many people have hold one aspect of life so much that they are not even thinking the other varieties that are in life. So if you are that man, you feel you are poor and you are not happy. Do you know that you might even be married and you claim you are poor? You are feeding your children and you claim you are poor. You are healthy and you claim you are poor. But do you know that even that man that you are envying, some of them don't have children of their own? You see, they are praying to exchange money with just a child that they can call their own, that is actually from their loins. You see, but because you hold the financial aspect of life too much at heart, you are blinded by the other sides of life. So, we should always see life in variety and not just hold one particular thing at heart. You might be that successful guy in academics and then because you have failed one particular exam, it is looking like it is all that there is in life. No! Do you know that if you go back to your family, there are so many things that you can choose to be happy about? You are a success in them. A great success in them. Certain people even desire or wish to be like you. You have siblings. You you are not you are not you are not begging. You have maybe a little business or a handwork that you are using to support yourself. And because of just one exam that you fail, maybe you actually read. You you have a good knowledge of the subject matter, but because of the action of one examiner or somebody marking your script, you failed and it looks like you have become a failure in academics. No! It is just a particular exam out of so many subjects or courses. This is how some of these things plays out to make us hold grudge against life. Life is in variety. There are so many things playing out. It is just one that might not be working. Other things might be working very fine. So why don't we choose to focus on those other ones that are working and choose to be happy and move on with life. You see, I shared um, the information of that person that committed suicide simply because a football club he is a fan of lost a match. This is somebody that is very healthy. This is somebody that might not be even doing bad financially. This is somebody that might be in a relationship that is working out well. So why choose one aspect of life and then hold grudge against life in total. This is what I am talking about. If this is your first video you are watching on my channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button as we are going to be looking at social challenges and the right pills for them. Here on Social Pills channel, I remain your chief host, Great Shin Wonder. Thanks for coming. Bye.